working towards my goal of giving everybody diabetes, this week's Bake Along features an Italian cream cake. I'm Italian. I like cake. Mangiamo. Buckle up. Let's go. First things first. Prep your pans. For this Italian cream cake, I'm making a three layer cake using nine inch pans. So I'll spray the whole pan first, then I'll put the parchment paper on there, and then I'll spray again. It's gonna get messy if you're not careful where you're spraying, like me. Everything is fine. We're okay. Would you like to be on camera too? Later. You can also flour these pans to ensure that the sides don't stick, but I'm feeling like living on the edge today, so I'm not. This recipe also calls for five eggs separated from yolks and whites, and it's important that you make sure you're not getting any shells. Oh, look at that. Already living on the edge. There's a shell. I'm gonna carefully not get in there. I've made this cake once before for my grandmother's birthday. However, we did not get to celebrate due to COVID. Hopefully, she will be able to watch this video instead and eat it later. One day, I hope to be at school with Gammy, a great cook, and my mother as well. Both amazing ladies to learn from. But, you know, what you get when you're growing up Italian. Hope this video makes them proud. This recipe calls for a whole cup of buttermilk. I froze some from when I previously made this. They're only equal to about a half cup. So to make buttermilk substitute for a half cup, you take a teaspoon of lemon juice and a half cup of whole milk. I'm literally just gonna pour this back in. Our fake buttermilk mixture, our imposter. And look at there. I don't know if you can see this, but this is really old school. I'm gonna use a mixer for this. There's going to be a lot of mixing. You're old, but you should still be able to work. Testing my patience today. I think I just broke it. Do you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts! Since our other mixer was being so difficult, we'll just have to do this by hand. I'm going to combine two sticks of room temperature butter. I'm using butter instead of margarine because it has less calories. Because once I'm done beating that, I'm gonna gradually add in two cups of sugar. Oh God, so much sugar. Bam, 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 bam. A lot of sugar. And now that the sugar and the butter have been incorporated, I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time. One for you. <laughs> Didn't even need that mixer. I've already sifted my two and a half cups of flour and teaspoon of baking soda together because who wants a clumpy dough? I don't. And now I'm going to mix this in to our wet ingredients along with our buttermilk mixture, all equal parts. We'll start with the flour and end with the flour. Here we go. Important you pay attention because you don't want anything. Bam! You can just give it one bam like that. To splash up and hit you. Oh my gosh, does everything not want to work for me today? You too. Come on, get in line. with our batter, we're going to fold in our two thirds cup of chopped pecans, three and a half ounces of coconut, a teaspoon of vanilla, maybe a little more. Whenever you're adding something to a batter like pecans or chocolate chips, coconut, you wanna be gentle and fold. You never wanna use a mixer because that will ruin the integrity of the ingredient. Next up, more mixing. I'm going to be all five of our separated egg whites until they're foamy. A half teaspoon of cream of tartar. And this will help us achieve stiff peaks. Almost there. Target coming up. <laughs> the third time. Yeah, We're going to gently fold these into our batter. It smells really good already. Let's move! The cake batter is ready. I'm going to evenly scoop it in our three cake pans. Your oven is ready. It should be set to 350 degrees. One for you, one for you, one for you. Scoop, skip potatoes. Ah, ah, scoop, skip potatoes. <laughs> Bang! It's <laughs> goes in your mouth. Naturally good. Yes, I just did wash my hands. So those will go in the oven for 25 minutes or until you insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. See you in 25. Outside. 
treat. Bells will ring, tingle ling a ling, <laughs> and you'll sing. Oh, you look delicious. Be the bella. Perfecto. I've removed all three bar cakes from the oven, and now they're going to cool in their pans on wire racks for 10 minutes. While your cakes are cooling, you'll want to get yourself a drink. I mean, get the rum that you plan on using to add a splash of flavor to your cakes. We're gonna try this one. This is a dark rum. So, see what all you can accomplish in 10 minutes. It's also enough time to sing some Italian opera. Why is the rum always gone? This icing requires one and a half cups of pecans. The size of the pecan really is your personal preference. If you like a thicker icing, freak what you feel. Don't chop as finely. A very heavy frosting. Two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. One and a half sticks of butter. Two cups of powdered sugar. So I'm gonna sift my two cups. Dump that right in there. Oh, I didn't sift it. Eager to get it going, you know? We'll somewhat sift. It eats. My goodness! Get it together! Come on out! Oh my gosh. Still got our more apron for today. Right now I'm gonna slowly add in the powdered sugar. Using a spoon really helps. You have more control with the amount you're putting in and where you're placing it. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Actually, we might do two. Usually with cream cheese frosting, you end up taste testing along the way. And I might add a little bit more powdered sugar, a little bit more cream cheese, just depending on the flavor I want for that specific cake or recipe. Let's give her a go, shall we? Oh, too big. More powdered sugar. That should do it. If it doesn't, you can always add more. Yeah. New spoon. Oh yeah! And again, we are stirring. Gently fold is gonna be the theme of this video. I made more than anticipated. You might need some more for your cake. You can eat it later. The possibilities are endless. Think of the possibilities. <laughs> okay, I'll actually stop this time. This is our final result. It looks and tastes wonderful. I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge actually for a little bit before I decide to frost because I want it to get a little bit colder. It's easier to work with that way and I need to do some cleaning up. And now for the fun part. I'm gonna put a small dollop on the base just so the bottom of our cake and doesn't move when I begin to frost. Beanie, beanie, whiny, Catch a tiger by the toe. Oh yeah, a bit of icing on there. I do wanna make sure I get the edges well because those will be the parts that we need to fill in as we continue to build our cake. Okay, once we've got a good even bottom layer. I'm too short to see, gosh. Kind of pushing it in the middle and then I'll spread it out. For a cake like this with a textured icing, it's really important not to push down too hard. You can always push the excess to the edges because they're gonna get covered anyways. For the final layer, I'm gonna place this one bottom side up. I want the top to be as smooth as possible. So I just threw that on there <laughs> and I, she's about even. I've added my parchment paper back just because I'm getting towards the bottom and I don't want a lot of mess. I'm gonna make a jump to light speed. <laughs> now that I've frosted this pretty dang good, I'm gonna go in with a spoon and just make sure that I have all the small, small little nooks and crannies that I'm missing. Yeah, so just run your spoon over it kind of like this. Again, not too hard. Gentle, gentle design. She looks great. So I'm gonna take these whole pecans and place them around the outside edges. 
Now one thing to be face up. Stand tall, stand proud. This is a proud cake. Bravo! Bravissima! Now that your beautiful Italian cream cake is complete, you can either serve it immediately or you can wait and refrigerate it and serve it at your convenience. But knowing me, I want it now. <laughs> Gosh, it looks beautiful. It was a really nice even slice. Not crummy at all. <gasps> that rum is very strong. Beating the egg whites really amped up the fluffiness. So yummy. I hope you enjoyed this bake along today. I will share the playlist that accompanies it. And I will share this dessert with my family because they deserve some too. That's it for now. Arrivederci. Up the man, my God.